Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel. And, uh, well, you know, we talk about new features on Windows 11. One of them, of course, that I talked today about was how uh, Microsoft has a new way of preventing phishing attempts by kind of protecting your passwords and letting you know that some of the things you might be doing every day is unsafe or, you know, insecure. And that comes from the Windows Security app. Uh, where in uh, app browser control and, and reputation-based protection settings. Uh, you have an option that is not available on Windows 10 uh, where, you know, passwords are being checked. Um, and unsafe behavior, uh, kind of, they're telling you that things are not right. Uh, you know what? That's the problem is a lot of you, a couple of you actually have um, asked me, do you think these new features, these new security features could come eventually to Windows 10. Um, you know what? I don't think a lot of what we see on Windows 11 will reach Windows 10 because the major reason they're doing this on Windows 11 is to try to get people to move on. In Windows 10, you know, the active development phase is over. It's really just uh, maintaining the system kind of attitude now for the future it doesn't mean we won't have a little bit of things here and there that could change or could be turned on or new but um, you know for that to happen of course we would need to have first of all a newer version of the Windows security which is different on Windows 11 slightly different than what we have on Windows 10 I would like these feature to come to Windows 10 because I think Windows 10 users should also have these available, but I don't think that they will actually make it at some point. Um, you know, this is 22H2 that you see here. This is what is coming in the uh, in October for Windows 10. So technically, if there's a version of Windows that should have some of these things turned on. Uh, would be this one and um, you know I think that Microsoft is intentionally just not adding anything new or almost nothing new due to the fact that they are just you know stay there stay put you're okay on Windows 10 they did say it uh, but they prefer you to move to Windows 11 and to do that well they're going to try to lure you with all sorts of new features and try to find a way to have a little something that is going to catch your eye and you're going to say, well, okay, maybe I do want to move on to Windows 11 now. Uh, but unfortunately, don't expect most, the, major, the big, big majority of everything you'll see new on Windows 11 will not make it to Windows 10, uh, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.